Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamblighter's League. My name is Iken and today we're continuing our let's play of this beautiful Paradox game. We are going to go into the first mission with four operatives. And we are going to go out of the past, the Keystone Recovery. Now this time I think we can take four. Price this artifact, we would get quite a few skill points and a bit of intel i think it is so let's assign the agents Ooh, got a four man team or four woman team so that's not bad uh we got ourselves two bandages we got a stun grenade <clears throat> and nice armor and we got a molotov cocktail all right seems like a good start let's go boys Sense it. Oh, good. She can sense it. Lay off. Maybe she can. Good. Let's carefully move. I started no longer using uh, the mouse keys, but actually the walking keys. I find that is more accurate. <coughs> Just double checking. I think we have a couple of enemies right so, there cargo loading zone the tower. it's more like four keystones form a door and the door will summon the tower save it for later darling we've a job to do All right, how about that? I might have something over here. Okay, they are very, very wary about what has just happened. Damn it. Couldn't run because then we would have been detected. Could not stay in the shadow either. We are moving back. And unfortunately, it is already on. Going for full cover. Oh, I thought it would uh, knock this guy down. Fortunately, it did not. Good, normal attack finishes him. There you go, killer instinct. Nice. Followed up by a push kick. That knocks him down and we're only fighting against four other enemies. Can't believe I'm saying only, but matter of fact, you're getting used to overwhelming numbers. Good. Everybody gets inspired. And we're getting one AP back, which we are going to invest. Um, you know, why not Overwatch? A couple of snipers are standing in the open. We're moving up. This is a perfect opportunity for a light em up. 
One, two, three, four. Let's go. Everybody marked and flushed them out. Mind you, now is a good time to motivate you and you. Very nice. Moving over here, we just need to deal enough damage and then we should be fine. Oh yeah, good job. Let's just double shot. Yep. Cool. Clean up time. One down. Killer instincts triggering. Two down. Killer instinct continues to trigger. I absolutely love it. Having a blast here. Nice. Good crit. Killer Instinct triggers for a third time. And we... are hitting... blind. Plus off we go into... cover so that they will follow us. No, 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 that's not it. Evade. There we go. Cool, that was a really good turn. Holy, Ingrid is good. There we go. Never mind. You'll get it next time. I think this is going well. <laughs> cool. Listen, it was not too bad. I mean, in the beginning, I could have done a bit better. Oops, there are enemies. Got to be a bit careful not to trigger even more of them. That must be the keystone. That keystone. Oh, it's high. <gasps> what are they? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Undead? Two hundred thirty hit points. Okay. I think a bit of blindness is in order. Moving up. Everybody gets uh, inspired. And we are going to light all of them up to mark them. Motivate. Yes, please, and yes, please. Moves to here. Ultimate. How do you like to taste the oh boy, these guys are super tough.
push kick. Mummies. Are you kidding me? Uh, into. You picked the wrong fight. Knock down here. And I think we are just going to evade in order to make sure that that third guy attacks us and misses. I knew that they would uh, self-explode. It just looked like it. Unfortunately, they are still dealing a lot of damage. Good. Hit this guy. He's ignited, so we need to make sure that we're not dealing too much damage to all of them because then they are exploding again so it's focus fire time what the hell is this? One. This can't be happening. Two. This cannot be happening. Okay, we want to move away from him, I suppose. The guy looks like as he if he would explode any moment. Yo, that thing still twitch. Hundred fifteen hit points? Why? Based on what? I'm not understanding the enemies yet. Does he heal whilst just being in fire, or is that a general thing? The mummies are seeming uh, to be quite strong. I think it's it means that we need to break this dress bar. I shouldn't have clicked uh, that way too early because it seems that we need to <clears throat> do anything with that stress. Good, that guy is blinded. Moving far away. Eddie jumps back and I think we're just going to overwatch. Everybody is inspired and we're just going to overwatch. Interesting. The mummies are starting to fight against one another. How do we... 
How do we break them? Ah, okay, now I see. Just gotta break their, uh, their mental score and then they can die. Is that it? Or is that a nicer way of telling me we need to move all this way here whilst being in combat? Nah, there must be a trick. Water. Ice. Something. Do we have water? Marked and blinded. That's not it. Good, we're reloading. That guy is almost dead. We are moving up. Let's hit him. We've now killed them. And you can uh, finish them if you're hitting once more. Okay. Just costs an extra action point. Fair enough. There's no time to waste. Wow. Intense battle if you don't know what uh, what's going on. Two times seventy five per cent shot missed. Oh, come on. Moving up. And I really hate to say this, but those that was a moderate difficult fight. There might be more of them. Nice, we're fighting against mummies, so you gotta finish these guys. Where there is life, there is hope. Good, unfortunately, the restorability is now gone, but I think that was a good utilization of the restorability. What wasn't so helpful is me not knowing how to deal with the mummies. We managed in the end, but that was very strange. Right, can we no we cannot just get there and got it there come on 
Fantastic. Pick up. Pick up. Um, we could pick an additional utility item up. More bandages if needed. Oh, and there is second wind. Fantastic. Just when we need it, right? I could steal the eyeliner off your eyes. Cool. Does she have her ability back? Yep, and that means everybody else will get theirs back as well. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's not so good. Follow me. Okay, careful here. I wish we could climb over here. Can we get a little bit closer? Nice. We are so sneaky. It was you or me. Come on, come on. Nap time. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. We still got this. Whatever it takes. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Good job. <laughs> nice. This should buy you some time. Good. We're out of ranged options to take them out. We still have one more charge. And a couple of sucker punches. What's that? Mm, 
come on, come on. A little bit closer, almost. Almost. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm actually quite happy with myself. That worked out incredibly well. Let's move. We used all of our abilities, but it's well worth it. I think we took out almost nearly 10 people with our abilities. And I guess that's what they're there for, right? Unloaded cargo, I see, okay. Frag grenade, frag grenade, frag grenade, all of that is good, but we do already have items. The game almost offers you too many options. You only have two um, action points. So having that many options is a bit problematic. I need to, however, backtrack. Sorry for that. But I want to make sure we're getting all of the materials. Yep. And as expected, there are a couple of extras over here. Nice. Don't mind if I Can't believe I've actually used all, every single ability. But yeah, that is helpful. That's a lot of supplies just laying around here at 30. Keep in mind, we can buy permanent armor for that. Not sure how good the items are, but here's my thought process. If I can get armor, then why wouldn't I? Cool, I'm getting the hang of the game, and now all we need to do is escape. The bad news is we don't have any preparation abilities left over. It's only combat from now on. But maybe I even avoided most of it. Look at that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sweet. And yet I have more questions than ever. For once I'm with you, kid. Let's go. I got a bone to pick with that old man. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Cool. Skill points gained. And we got ourselves the Unquiet. The Unquiet does. This agent has plus one speed, but when su uh, suffers 15 damage when crossing the full distance of a one AP move. Hmm. It's gotta get done. You know what? Gonna get done. Might as well give that to Eddie. He's quite slow. We were victorious. I'm still not 100% understanding um, how the overall kind of power distribution in the world is. Are we winning? Are we not? The league uh, hasn't had a keystone in almost 20 years. Uh, it's progress, but uh, it still needs three more. If uh, I'm to open the door in the tower, there might be more. I have a theory. 
one which may allow us to deal with a decisive blow to the Banish Accord. But first I'll need to examine the Keystone. I would take a wild guess that the Banish Court formerly was Lamplighter Leaks as well, that's why they call it Banish Court. All begins to make sense. You have the little puzzle pieces. Yes, it was right next to the coffins full of walking, fire breathing mummies. <laughs> well, the fire breathing is a surprise, and Strum managed it even before leashing the bright storm to his will. You see now how critical. Is we stop him and the rest of the banished court. Ain't no we. You're on your own. We're out. Right, y'all? Are you joking? This fool's luck isn't crazy. I'm in this until the end now. Fine. What about you, slugger? I've got plans, if necessary. Plans that hinge on the sun rising tomorrow. How am I going to spend my money if there's no world left to spend it in? Well, I ain't getting conscripted into another war. You're free to walk, of course. But the court knows your name and your face. You've seen firsthand the strength of the man. No, you're in this till the end, Mr. Sawyer. Either the courts or your own. All that remains is for you to decide which one. Sawyer, you might be interested to know that this island is protected. Wards, formulas, stuff I've never even heard of. No safer place in the world than right here. Damn it. Well then, while Mr. Sawyer makes up his mind, the rest of us have work to do. Eddie, come on. Don't be a wuss. Yes, we'll need three more keystones in order to enter it. They're rare, but they are out there. The tower sheds them when it travels. While we search the globe for the keystones, the mission is the same as it was. Sabotage. Harry the court at every turn. They cannot safely wield the bright storm on a global scale if all their preparations lie in ruin. In the meantime, I will study this keystone. I believe it can help us defeat the court once and for all. You mentioned that already, Locke. One more thing. I do still expect to be paid. Never fear, Miss Erickson. I know exactly who I'm dealing with. And try not to look so glum. You're all gonna help me save the world. Week number five. From here on, entering mortal danger will have more serious consequences. Agents who enter mortal danger will sustain injuries that will take at least a week's rest or special, me uh, special medicine to heal, even if they are stabilized within three rounds. And agents in mortal danger who aren't stabilized within three rounds, well, they will be lost. Ooh. -ooh. So death is a real possibility. I like it. I like it already. Okay, skills first. We wanted to get to push kick two, I think. Extra damage, extra hit points. Um, that makes sense. And we'll leave two of the points unspent. Because we potentially get six in the next adventure. Then we have eight and can actually... Um, go into either agility for some extra speed which would be very good or get onslaught 3 uh, where we get two onslaughts per mission that's pretty good as well but I think I actually would go for speed first as her moving from one um, end to the other is so so Couldn't so important could, yeah. okay we could get another armor or an armor shred talisman mod. The accuracy isn't uh, isn't bad as well. Armor overall, however, is good. So let's continue to buy these. In terms of agents, we got you. We got our healer who most certainly needs armor because when the healer gets downed, uh, you do have a problem. There. Yeah. So armor 5, armor 5, the other ones are just going in without armor. I like that. I've been working on good stuff. Good stuff? <laughs> good stuff with ben Danny Belfort. Unfortunately, we can't uh, buy any of the good stuff. Danny, you're a bit expensive, my dude. Oh, 
All right, the growing threat. From this point forward, most missions have threat uh, rings associated with them. Completing the mission sets back the doomsday clock of uh, the Scion, whose operation that mission targets. But missions with threat expire if left undone. When they do, their threat is added to the Scion's doom clock. Running high threat missions is the surest way to buy enough time to build Locke's um, otropic device and stop the court. On the other hand, low threat missions bring valuable resources and gear. As the doomsday clock ticks, uh, uh, Skyen grows faster. If one of the clocks hits midnight, that sign will enter the tower and descend, harboring the bright light to remake the world as he or see, she sees fit. And if that happens, the game is up. Okay. I get it. Now I see what's up. So Strum, Marteau and Nicastro. Okay. I think Marteau was uh, the lady with the blades. Strum was uh, the US guy. Or was he? Maybe Mate Marteau was the... Uh, house overview. Let's do that. <laughs> there we go. Um, so... Nicastro missions, all magisters are replaced with half drowned. Uh, Marteau. On Marteau missions, all sentinels are replaced with spectonauts. And on Strum missions, all scourges are replaced with reapers. Okay, so she's Strum is uh, the melee uh, lady. Uh, and the other two I don't yet understand fully. So, if we were to do this, what is happening? So, well, that's two and a half, right? And... It has a full meter, which I would assume... Ah, I see, okay. So, it automatically shows you what would happen. Two Nicastro missions that we could go for. 113 material, six points. Um, here we do have six points and stress remedy. And here we do have uh, six points and intel. Hmm. Collect material from a resource by searching through a safe house. Okay. That'll give us heal and some sort of material. And this here will give us more weapons. <laughs> I like it. That's good. Let's go, boys. More weapons. All right. But all of that will happen in the next episode. Uh, that's a great cliffhanger for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like Lamplighter's League uh, or find it interesting, leave a comment uh, down below. Which of the three houses should we attack? Uh, Nicastro, Marteau or Strum? Uh, give me your comment down below and uh, wait for the result in the next episode. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.